we, Atelia, are sustainable by our hearts and in our presence. This shows as our net zero promise, including emissions in scope 1, 2 and 3. In this way, the safety net that we are building with our strategic partner Nokia suddenly expands up to the societal level. Telia have been part of Finnish electricity balancing markets for several years with our battery capacity, for example, in the modern Helsinki data center. And we want to find new ways to support our common sustainability goals for generations to come. By this, I mean how to utilize not only new investments, but also how to get even more business potential out of the current assets that we need to have anyways due to the legislation. And this meaning the need to have networks up and running even during the power outages. Now, what does this mean in practice? For us, this means finding the right partners to implement new ways of not only environmental or even societal sustainability, but also business sustainability, as there is also business potential on the road to net zero by 2040. We just need to recognize this and pick them up when the potential arises. Practically speaking, the electricity grid is relying increasingly on renewable sources. This creates the need for innovative solutions to balance the production and the consumption in electricity grid all over the world. These actions with virtual power plant help with our targets to net zero by not only unlocking innovative solutions in an electricity grid like this virtual power plant, but there is also deep need in telco networks themselves to be more efficient and modular also from the point of view of electricity consumption. How not to be only more efficient per transfer data, but also decrease absolute energy consumption. Telco has stable profile for consumption compared to many other industries, which creates additional forecastability towards balancing markets. We are now in operations of virtual power plant with Fortum and taking further steps with the study and pilot of virtual power plant expansion with Nokia to find new ways to implement sustainability and expect to take our cooperation to the next level to see the good results of the pilot in practice. By developing new ways to combine electricity grid and telco networks with our strategic partner Nokia, we are aiming to support the addition of renewable energy sources. Fortum Spring is a customer flexibility business unit within the Nordic energy company Fortum. The energy system is changing globally. Amount of renewable intermittent energy is increasing rapidly and at the same time traditional dispatchable power generation such as coal-fired power plants are being decommissioned as they are no longer environmentally nor economically as viable. This is creating a situation where the energy system would actually require more flexibility to cope with the increasing amount of volatility that the renewable energy generation inherently creates. However, at the same time, conventional power generation capacity that has been providing this flexibility is diminishing. This leads to a situation, and actually an opportunity, where consumption flexibility or demand response becomes increasingly more important. Consumption flexibility in general is a very broad term. It can mean anything from optimizing customers' electricity consumption based on market prices to providing ancillary services for different levels of system operators. It also includes a variety of different technical solutions to provide different services with different timescales. Ranging from subsequent activation, reserves to hourly markets and even to matching consumption with seasonal changing weather patterns. Our role in this is to act between the customers and different markets. So we make contracts with our customers 
to utilize their flexibility in different manners. We either work with large centralized assets like for example battery energy storage systems or data centers directly or with smaller decentralized assets like mobile pay stations through partnerships like the one we have with Nokia. This helps us create value for our own customers, partners, owners and the society in general. By making the energy system more flexible, it can accommodate more renewable energy and can help in the transition towards a zero-carbon future. We're living in a time of unprecedented change. There is a growing global focus on sustainability and environmental responsibility. As we strive to create a more sustainable future, the transition to renewable energy sources is becoming increasingly critical. But as we scale up solar and wind power, we face a challenge. The sun doesn't always shine, it's not always windy, and the changes in power production are faster than ever. This has led to faster variations in electricity spot prices and imbalances in the energy grid, which can potentially impact its stability. The good news is that the green transition is also driving technology innovation and new business opportunities. It's thrilling to discuss an innovative Nokia solution that's helping our industry shape the future of energy. The world's first real-time virtual power plant. It's a unique solution with over 10 patents pending. Think about the fact that mobile network operators typically have backup batteries in thousands of radio network sites, and those batteries are usually idle. Our software-based virtual power plant solution allows operators to monetize the backup batteries while contributing to stabilizing the energy grid. When spot electricity prices change fast, our control solution enables operators to use backup batteries to avoid expensive electricity and recharge batteries at lower energy prices. So it's not just about environmental sustainability, it's also about the huge business opportunity. A great example comes from my home country, Finland. As we heard from our partners, Delia, who is a leading mobile operator, and Fortum, who is an aggregator in the energy market. They are pioneering the use of virtual power plant. It's clear that the future of energy is distributed, intelligent and interconnected. It's exciting to see how Nokia's collaborative approach and technological innovations help our industry transition towards a zero carbon future while benefiting society and, most importantly, safeguarding our planet. <laughs>